Let. <laughs> What's up, Team MBL? It's Music by Lucas. And Lauren C. Ray, DJ filmmaker, DJ producer. And today, I'm gonna teach a beginner how to make Future House. And yes, that beginner is actually me! I started I'm... working on this track yeah. this morning. It's like, a, I think it's a really good layout and it will show you guys how to like arrange your tracks better as well because I feel like there's certain things that I hear missing a lot uh, in, in submissions that I hear like for Song of the Week and stuff like that. So I think this will be will helpful help for all levels, basically. Yeah, all levels, all it's genres. It's just gonna be fun to make fun of me and my struggles making a track. I've never made a track. We've done a video collaboration before where he taught me how to make something. I don't even remember, guys. So I need more lessons. Yeah. Last time we literally like made the track from scratch, but this time I made the track and I want to see if oh, she right. can recreate it and if she can understand like why I did certain things and see like, can a beginner do this? And I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so part one is here on the Music by Lucas channel, but if you want to see me finish my lesson and see if I succeed and get an A+, plus, yeah, head plus, over yeah. to the Lauren C. Ray channel. Links in the description below. She fails. Le <laughs> okay, let's get started. All right, so let's get to the lesson. Remember to pay attention and grade Lauren as we go along. So is she an A class student? Yes. B, C, D? No. Lower than F, potentially? No, A plus, all the way, guys. <laughs> let's get to it, come on. All right, so uh, first let's play the track. So I made this this morning. It's a very like straightforward, basic. It's only like 16 tracks, feature house. Um, yeah, so let's play it. <laughs> Basically, that's it's the track. It's basic. You think yeah. you can do that? You can pull it off. Why this track, though? <laughs> <laughs> Lesson one. Okay. The melody. Okay. All right. <laughs> so the green tracks are MIDI. So that's what I actually played on the uh, piano, and then the blue tracks are from Splice. So these are samples. They're uh, they are effects. They're percussion. They are vocal samples. Things like that. So starting with the melody, though, this is pretty basic. It's kind of like my future trance kind of like. Don't... <laughs> Okay, mel <laughs> melody, that's easy. I can do that. <laughs> Once again, grading you on. Okay, ready guys? Yep. Ready. <laughs> Okay, so that's actually not bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, a plus. Quant quantize would help you uh, with this. So what quantize is... I don't is... need quantize. Quant I don't know what it is, but I don't need it. <laughs> quantize is a function that just puts everything on a certain timing for you. Okay. So uh, like 116 is the one for this one. It's very standard. It's mm -hmm. gonna, like, let's say you're a little bit off, like you were supposed to be like... Hey. Mm -hmm. But you were like... <laughs> a little bit like... <gasps> A little bit off, it will <laughs> line it up for you so that it's all on time. So okay. I think it, for first test, I think you did pretty good. Thanks. All right, the next test is how long is each section of the track in bars? How many bars does it take to get to the next section of a track? Eight. Dang! Dude, she's on <laughs> it. All right, so it's an eight bar break, an eight bar build, and a 16 bar drop. This is a very simple, uh, it's not an original mix. An original mix has like an intro. This one just goes straight to the break. When you first start off a track, um, you have some different effects. A lot of people forget about vocal effects. Vocal effects are very important. They're those little things like this. And they add so much ambiance. So basically like a person yelling in a cave. <laughs> yeah. And hearing their own echo. Like an echo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Someone sample that. <laughs> Help this woman. She's left in a cave, you guys. So just to give you an example of what it would sound like without vocal effects, like on the drop, for example, you have this. <laughs> All that, like, these are all vocal effects. And then... Oh yeah, so nice. without that, it would sound much more empty. It just sounds more basic. Right. So vocal effects, that's the lesson for you. Do you feel like you could find them? Where do you find them? 
Splice. What do you do? Or somewhere else. Um, <laughs> what else? Uh, you need one of the these. drums. Yes, the snare. This is a cool drop gun snare from uh, from Splice as well, and it just. What you'll notice is that I brought in the vocal effect from the drop right there as a tease. I kind of brought <gasps> it in just a little you. bit, yeah, and then it How comes back you. in the drop. But in every eight bars, really every four bars, you have to add transitional effects. So you'll notice that the the vocal effects are transitional, but then also the crash, and then a reverse crash at the end, and then to another crash. And uh, just like some slight, like like you were saying, shh, it's right here. But what else on the drop? What's the big thing that it's like, boom, boom? I don't know. You haven't told me. The kick. Oh. <laughs> so the biggest difference on the drop is going to be the kick. And you guys probably noticed uh, that there's a little Spinning Records logo up here. Uh, Spinning Records Bass, that's because there's a new plugin. Spinning Ooh, Records Bass. Yeah, they just showed it to us when we were in the Netherlands and they gave it to Lucas to mess around with. I mean, they could have gave it to me, but I was <laughs> like, I don't know, you know. <laughs> They did explain what it does, uh, but I don't really. What, what, what? <laughs> yeah, so it's it's really simple actually, but really cool. Um, so it has to do with the kick and the bass, and I'll make another track here so I don't mess up mine. So this is what it sounds like. There's different sounds, different sound sets. Yeah, and you can adjust everything. You can be like, I just want the kick. Now you got the kick. You can be, I want the bass. The reason why this is so cool is because of the fact that it makes everything on key for you. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to search splice for like the perfect bass and the perfect kick that go together. You don't have to worry about how to side chain them. Like all of that work is already done within the plugin. You can even split it up so you have half your keyboard being the bass and then half of it being the kick. Let's see. Yep, kick, bass. And then you, like I said, have all these sound sets here and you can use the uh, kick that goes with the bass. I like how you're using nausea. <laughs> and then let's try the inky blinky uh, bass. Let's see. Let's make, oh, a, gosh. make a track. Dang it. Okay, wait, so this one and uh -huh. where? Where else? That one and that one. Okay, ready? Imagine you're at the club, guys. <laughs> you're so excited to go out dancing and, and find that special somebody, and then this song comes on. Ready? For 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I uh, I use this on the track on the drop, <laughs> and it sounds like this. So this uh, plugin is going to be launching in two weeks, and in the meantime, if you guys want to test out the beta. Uh, version, the beta test like Lucas is. We actually have the link in the description below. You guys can download it, mess around with it, get pumped about this uh, new plugin. Yeah. And um, we're calling it the special exclusive beta test. There'll be more sound sets coming in the next two weeks. So right now you see they have the solos, Andre, Edema. Yeah, they're just probably going to delete all those and, you know, just music by Lucas, uh, music by Lucas, music by Lucas. All my different. I think so, notes. like at least 15, just, you know. So. I think they should do all Lauren Z. Ray. And it well, would be I mean, that's the smarter of, thing to do, but like, will they? Back to back. <laughs> so far, I think I've done really well. Um, I'm sure all of you are commenting mm. A plus on every single thing I've done. I understand. Yeah, that's, well, we still have to work on the drop. Yeah, gonna so that's going to be on part two on the Lauren C. Ray channel, which link in the description. Head over, see uh, me ace the exam I have so far, and yeah. comment below if you agree with me. I would say your grade is mm -hmm. inconclusive. We have to wait for oh, the next video. Oh, gosh. It should be linked like somewhere. It's going to be... Around. Somewhere? I don't know here. where you put things here. on the ends of this video. Here. Maybe here? Just, it's here somewhere. <laughs> And it's probably the coolest thumbnail ever, and everybody, oh, yeah. yeah, loves it. Click it. <laughs>